Welcome to Family Gamer TV. I'm at Gamescom and with Guha Bala, studio head by Carious Visions. Hi there. Hi. And Lou Studdart. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, your role at the studio? Part of the production team at Activision mm -hmm. for Skylanders. Cool. And so we've got a whole host of figures here, which we're going to work our way through. Um, do you want to kick, kick our demo off? Now, the thing yeah. to say is this, this isn't, isn't any old demo. This is not this any old is demo. This is on the um, PlayStation. It is, it is on the Quattro PlayStation. This is a PlayStation 4 demo for the very first time. And we're going to be at launch, so it's going to be great. So you'll actually get to see Spyro the Dragon natively 1080p with all the graphical bells and whistles for the very first time at launch for PlayStation 4. It's going to be really cool. So I'm mean, just having a, my first look at PS4. <laughs> it looks nice. It doesn't, doesn't, are there things here which mark it apart from, say, current generation consoles? Uh, you know, I think the first, at first what you'll notice right away is that it um, is in native 1080p, which is like uh, for a child watching their favorite Blu-ray movie. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, every bit of this is geared around how do we um, sort of immerse you in the storytelling and you know, the toys come to life uh, that much better. So Lou is uh, splishing around in the water now on PS3. Uh, and uh, other platforms, we do have interactive water, and it really gives you a sense that you could touch and feel the materials, your environments, but in the PS4, that much more detailed. Mm -hmm. And so the types of things that we're able to do to be able to really connect you with your environment it makes it sort of a little closer, a little bit more in depth. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to one of our new Swap Force Skylanders to really start this demo in full. Mm -hmm. and we're actually going to bring in our undead Swap Force Skylander. Actually, if you want to toss him on there for me. So who's this? Who are we bringing in? We're bringing in Rattleshake. Rattleshake. Now, I, I saw him at E3, but I think he was behind glass. He was. He's locked so away. You so you see his gameplay for the first time. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get him up to the camera. Yeah. People can see that as well. But let's have a look at yeah, yeah cool. first, first first time gameplay for Rattleshake. Correct. Cool. And Rattleshake's going to be a uh, character that's of the undead element, but he's also got the bounce power of the Swap Force powers. Um, so what's really cool about that is not only do you really see that in the Swap Force power zones, but just in how he moves. So all of our Skylanders this year can actually jump, which is, you know, no small feat considering all the animation work and all the hard work done by VV and the team. Uh, but what's really cool is that it's not just a stock animation, it's not just a stock feel. There's even an attack tied to it where you'll brand the ground and cause a little AoE attack. AoE being? Uh, area of effect. Uh -huh. So it's like a little shock wave. Now here, uh, Andy, what you're seeing with every one of these cobblestones, uh, the pillars, uh, what we're able to do is, you know, on other platforms they may be a little flatter, they still have uh, great detail, but now every one of those shapes has additional dimensions. So it really feels like you're in inside this 3D world. Yeah, it looks really nice. Is there any functional difference on, say, next generation consoles, or is it just visual, this is the difference? So we put all the effort, actually, onto the visual side, uh, being a launch title. Uh, and that's especially important because we wanted to make sure that the innovation from Swap Force makes it across all titles, all consoles. And so the gameplay is actually very similar to the other consoles. Mm -hmm. so you've got a game where you could literally play it on the Wii, mm -hmm. or you could play it on the PS4, and the actual gameplay mm -hmm. would be quite similar. The gameplay would be quite similar. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we're pressing on with our demo. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So you'll see, uh, as we played with Rattleshake here, he's got quite a few unique moves. Uh, one of the really cool ones is his ability to summon Deputy Snake. So he actually has a deputized snake that you spawn that almost behaves as a turret, uh, a living turret. So it'll actually spit poisonous venom mm -hmm. at enemies. So he'll okay. actually bring in for us a Boom Jet. Yeah, I've, I've not seen. Time. Yeah, I've not seen Boomjet at all. Yeah, Boomjet's brand new. You're seeing him for the first time. He's one of our air yeah. swap force Skylanders. He's got a little atom bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a flyboy. So you'll see as we bring him in, he's pretty funny. But the coolest thing is he surfs a turbine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So I imagine that means he's quite fast around the arena. As you'll see, we're about to hit this ramp, and actually blast off. Nice. And he's actually one of the, the rocket powered characters. So we're rocketing up here right into an enemy encounter. Gonna dodge that with a jump. He can call in airstrikes, which are pretty cool because it'll actually attack a whole line of enemies. Um, and then you notice his bomb, well he can charge it up for a comically oversized bomb to take out a number of enemies as well. Um, not only can he dash with that turbine, he can actually push air back and shoot off propellers as well, which are really cool. What's really amazing as a game maker for Skylanders is um, with every character we can invent, 
know, all kinds of new gameplay, a new type of gameplay variety that players have never seen before, a new type of character design that players have never seen before. And with Swap Force, because you could do the mix and match, of course, then, you know, the children are actually creating their mm -hmm. own as well. So with a comical bomb type or with the airstrike that he calls in, these are all things that, you know, as a game creator, we say, hmm, what would really stretch the imagination, but what can we put, put into a world where you can use it all together really nicely? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, my son's already got his eye on particular combinations. I know, I've seen that from, uh, from the coverage that you've given. It's very, it's very cool. Yeah, so he's, he's got to work out, you know, because he can only buy a certain number, so mm -hmm. um, he's going to work out where he's going to put his pocket money. Mm -hmm. And with a number of combinations, actually, you can have just a few toys, but then generate lots and lots of combinations, lots of variety of play. Yeah, you know, so I'm, trying, I'm trying to persuade him to co cooperate with his sister <laughs> in their choices. He hasn't quite, quite got his head around that yet, though. Right. Okay, so, um, so pressing on. Speaking of those combinations, mm -hmm. let's actually go ahead and mix the guys we just saw. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in... Boom shake? Uh, we're going to do the other way. We're going to do rattle jet. Okay. <laughs> because, really, I just want to see... A snake slinging snakes, surfing a turbine. I think that sounds fun. Uh, but what's really cool about it, though, is that you'll see in this next enemy encounter, I've, I've chosen this specifically um, because I know what's coming next. Um, but what's really cool is we're tying in the best things about both halves of the character. So we're going to take on this new enemy type called a Twist Pick Cyclops. Mm -hmm. And what's cool about him, you'll see, is that he rotates rapidly, but it gives you a hint as to where he's going to go. So having that dash ability to evade his attacks, and then also having a rapid fire snake uh, as your projectile, as opposed to more you know higher powered bombs, allows us to actually get in during his window of opportunity and attack him. And though it's really cool strategically, being that he's a cowboy, you can play enemies against each other. So oh, nice! See, yeah, I like because that. Because I was able to actually time it. I can get the twist pick cyclopses to hit one another because they're rotating so mindlessly. Uh, I think um, you know some elements of this may have been in the prior games, okay. but then we really kind of take that to the next level with Swap Force. And so throughout all of the levels, you so, sort of find clever ways of dealing with situations. So you can either brute force it, you can find a character that you really like that you want to that you uh, you know have a specific move that you've upgraded to to, uh, to uh, dismatch em enemies. But sometimes you can use these kind of really interesting environmental factors as well. Mm -hmm. So those are sprinkled throughout. Rattle shakes top. He has the the snake gun. He can actually stretch it for this ricochet shot, but my favorite part is, you know, when you're outside of combat, it will actually pick up the coins for you and bring you back. Oh, cute, yeah. And you could you could get in ahead of somebody else exactly. if you're playing two players. <laughs> exactly. You can nickel so, the... That's yeah. a good one to oh, notice. Yeah, absolutely. So that's just a little pro tip for everyone out there. Play as <laughs> Rattle Shake's top and steal all the coins. Yeah. It's a great upgrade. But what we're actually going to do now, we're going to switch over to the manliest named Skylander in the history of Skylands. There's no favoritism here at all. Uh, we're going to bring in one of our core Skylanders that we're showing off for the first time. Uh, this is Zulu, mm -hmm. and he's really fun. Shar sharing <laughs> your name? No, not at all. <laughs> I was named after him. He's an ancient creature. Uh, but what's really cool about Zulu, being that he's kind of a, a life character, uh, he can summon spirit animals. So you'll see his glowing staff, and that actually ties together all of his attacks. So his main attack is a projectile, and he actually summons and throws out birds. Oh, wow, nice, yeah. Now what's cool is you'll see on that effect, uh, it has that twisty effect, and that's because we've actually upgraded him to have a swoop reloop ability, so when it attacks an enemy, those birds will actually fly back and keep attacking. Mm -hmm. um, and then his second main ability is quite a fun one here. You can actually summon a spirit wolf. And that wolf not only will attack enemies for you, but if you upgrade its you know attack chain, it will find, dig up, and grab food for you when your health's low. So it's actually a familiar that will help you out as you fight. Uh, but perhaps the coolest move, he can ride a bucking boar. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I presume that gives him some sort of benefit. It does. It's actually attacking as it pounds down. Uh, you can upgrade it so it'll kick out dust. Uh, but what's really cool is that you can actually stack the attacks. So as he's on the boar, you can be throwing out the birds. Mm -hmm. So it allows him oh, nice, to have yeah. mobility, have that pounding attack, and then also allow him to you know, attack in a different way as well, getting multiple forms of damage. Mm -hmm. So he's a really fun one. But now we're going to progress down here, see what's going on with our buddy Duff in the level. So while you're doing that, yep. this is a new level that you're showing at Gamescom, is that yeah, right? absolutely, yes. And you'll be showing this across different consoles, or is it just, just being shown on the PS3? Uh, so it's PS4 yeah. in our area, and then it'll be in PS3 in Sony's area with a different level on PS4 in Sony's area as well.
And are you, are you saying what these levels are called? So this, this is the snow level. Is it uh, this got a particular name? This one's called uh, Winter Keep. Mm -hmm. And you, what's really cool about this is, I, I think this more than anything else shows the stakes of the adventure right now. So this is about maybe midway through the game. And what's cool is our story, you know, this epic adventure where you're pr trying to defend the Cloudbreak Islands portion of Skylanders, where there's a magic volcano, and Chaos is kind of coming in, he's going to try and use petrified darkness to spread evil with this magical volcano. But what's really cool about this level is that you actually see characters and your friends fighting alongside you. So, so this... <laughs> Uh, yep. Mike talked about um, PlayStation 4 controller. Yeah. Um, do you use the, the touchpad or any of the lights or any of those sort of features um, in the game? As far as the features are concerned, we you know fully support. We're going to fully support the, the share functionality with the game. So that yeah. share button is tied to you know the new share button. So we actually use the center as a button to bring up the Skylanders menu, where you uh -huh. can actually manage your hats, your stats, and check out all the information about your Skylanders. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the rest of the controls, they're all there for maximum tuned you know game. Play, so it's pretty much going to be the same controls that we've had, um, just finely tuned for feeling with the PlayStation yeah, controller. Vita play. Yeah, we're also going to have the remote uh, play with the, the PlayStation Vita. Yeah, I like that. And mm -hmm. Isn't it all PS4 games will, will support that? Or is that something you had to actually implement yourselves? Uh, it's, uh, it, it does require some additional work from us. Um, it's one of the things that many of the PS4 games mm -hmm. will support. But cool. Vita Play is, a, is another cool element for the Vita owners. Yeah. Well, it means I can play mm -hmm. um, Skylanders Fort Force in the bath. Exactly. <laughs> just don't drop the Vita. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. My, my son wants to do that as well, but I don't let him. You just wrap it in like cellophane, <laughs> and then in case it falls down, you're good. Yeah, you, can, you can get some products that wrap it up, but yeah, sometimes I just take, just take the risk. But there you go. <laughs> so anyway, back to the yes. demo. So yeah, so he's on the Aurora rails, and you can see Zulu is actually riding a rainbow. You know, for various characters, we have all kinds of elemental zones. Elemental zones have a ton of variety in them, you know, taking on different types of interactions and that kind of thing. For the Swap Force characters, we have the Swap Force zones, and there we have different, each of your traversal types will give you a different kind of minigame or minigame type activity. Uh, but for all the Skylanders, we also have a ton of variety that's in the main flow and path of the game. Uh, that's like the uh, rail grinding that you see here, uh, the catapult type interaction that you saw, the river rafting that Lou, Lou is alluding to, mm -hmm. fishing, and there's actually just literally dozens of different types of gameplay that's available to your entire library of toys as well. That's another character we've never shown you before, mm -hmm. Grilla Drilla. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, so top him on. I think he might have been behind Glass at E3. Yeah. Yep. But of course, first time in gameplay. Yeah, cool. I'm on the portal. Mm -hmm. You can see Grilla Drilla is a life swap force Skylander. And he's a drilling gorilla. So what's really cool is his fists are actually these drills. So you'll see he does combos, punching with these drill fists. Or if you want to try and go for the sustained damage, you can actually hold it and drill into the end. Nice. Yeah. Well, kind of nice, kind of nasty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> does some damage. Um, and then his lower half is also, you know, he's a dig-based character. So he has the drilling digging. And what's cool is that he'll actually plant different types of turrets based on your upgrade path and based on the amount of time you dig. Mm -hmm. So if you tap it, you'll bring out just a little bit of a coconut shooter, but then if you hold it, you'll actually plant an explosive cluster bomb mine. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, so you'll see after a bit of time, or if an enemy walks up, it'll explode, leaving a little cluster explosive mm -hmm. carrots. That's si cool. Similar to what you're showing with um, Rattleshake, and that um, he can lay... Like and he had a turret, didn't he as well? That he, he could had, put down. He had, um, he had Deputy Snake, which he would actually throw. Mm -hmm. So what's cool about that and the difference between it is, you know, when you're using Gorilla Drilla, you have the opportunity to try out different types of turrets or different types of planted mines and explosives. But it's always where you're going to be. Uh -huh. You know, whereas with uh, Rattleshake, that upper half is actively thrown, so you can use it not only as a projectile. Uh, but as a turret that you send out away from you to kind of set up a different situation. Yeah, nice. A bit of strategy there, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, but his last move, probably the best, because I think everyone <laughs> in life would love this, you can summon monkeys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Are they monkeys? You it's just sort of look like... Yeah. <laughs> so they'll actually seek out the enemies, they'll actually run around, basically do your bidding, mm -hmm. which is great. So we'll let you get your hands on with them before or uh, uh, later. Um, but they're just... <laughs> really great because they'll run around rapidly yeah. finding enemies. And uh, is that imagine something you can get upgraded so that yep. you can get more monkeys or mm -hmm. bigger monkeys? Yeah. Meaner monkeys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and really, that's the end of you know the demo that we were going to show before we get you your hands on. Mm -hmm. um, and we're there's, actually. There's this one guy we've not tried, isn't there? There is. So that's the way we're going to start it. 
And who, so who's this then? Let me get the hat first. Bring oh, the all-important all yes. hat. The all-important hat. Uh, I believe we're almost uh, what, over 180 now. Uh, we've got all of, of we, we have a lot of hats. We have all the hats from the previous two games carried forward. So any customization done to your character in Spire, or Skylanders Spire's Adventure or Skylanders Giants carry forward. Mm -hmm. We also have a substantial number of really cool new ones. Uh, I just unlocked the Crown of Frost, uh, which gives me plus 30, I believe, armor. Yeah, that sounds loads. I mean, yeah, one of the hats back nice. in the day it was just plus one or plus two. Oh, well, that's inflation yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've beefed it up a bit right now, which is great. Um, and it just, you know, it's bringing that level of customization to your character, you know, via these hats, which is great because it's also not just a cosmetic change, but a statistic change for your character.